everyone, uh, welcome to this video. My name is Chisola Nyala. Um, being a citizen of Zambia, I think I just want to exercise my right to speech to talk about what I feel is actually important. And I just hope uh, whatever I'll say uh, reach, reaches the people out there and makes a difference in one way or the other. So there's actually a lot going on in the country. We've got a lot of issues that are attracting attention in many ways. Uh, of course, it, things are not moving okay, and everybody can testify to that. Closure of CBU more than three times uh, in a year is not acceptable. Uh, citizens of Zambia have the right to education, and you cannot afford to deny them that right. First things first, I want to say is that democracy is a borrowed concept. Whatever system we are trying to implement in the country, as far as the political system is concerned, is a borrowed concept. Before civilization came from the worst, uh, you would agree with me that there were system, systems that were run in an African way, which were powerful and did result in powerful kingdoms. And I'm not trying to say that it's wrong to, to move on as we've moved. I mean, civilization is part of change and change is inevitable. Civilization is very important because it makes life much more easier. So you do understand that civilization came in the moment we, we, we were actually ruled by the, the, the white people. It's not a bad thing to have the concepts that we borrowed from them. So when you talk about the politics, we talk about politics, democracy, and many other, mostly as well as education. These are byproducts of the white man uh, into the African land. And I think the reason why I'm stressing more about this uh, is that I think uh, this is the main reason why uh, most government systems and education systems are a failure. In Africa because these are borrowed concepts so my point is what can be done to make things better that's the better question I'm not saying let's drift away from civilization we cannot do that civilization is good we've seen what is happening in the Western world people are living better lives so the question is then what's wrong in Africa uh, and I want to state I want to start by saying uh, that in order to succeed, the borrowed concept should be followed to the dot, and that is very important. That means education should be the main thing into the system. If people are educated, only can they understand what democracy means. So the problem that we have in Africa is we have leaders that have no desire to serve the people so when they go into the government because they do not have the desire to understand what democracy means or how democracy is supposed to be uh, because this is a borrowed concept that has come into the system so for somebody to really understand what that means there's actually need for someone with the passion to understand what the system is all about if we get the right leaders who've got the passion to serve the people, leaders who've got the, uh, you know, the desire to learn and understand what is democracy, to learn and understand what is education, then we'll have a very, very powerful government system in Africa because we have all the resources, we have everything uh, that we need to become the most uh, you know, successful and powerful economies in the entire world. So what we see is that we've got leaders that have come into government with no desire to serve the people. They are so selfish that they go into politics looking forward to enrich themselves. And in the process, they've denied uh, uh, citizens education. And this is the main thing. So lack of education is a factor that has led to poor economy in Africa because at the end of the day 
if the citizens are not educated, that means they do not understand what it means to run the economy. It, they do not understand what even is the political system. So in the process, the leaders do not structure systems that are tangible and reliable that can work because they do not have the time, the desire to understand what these things mean. They have 